In the mood for a good laugh? Well, you could always check out some big budget comedy everybody's seen a million times, or you could dig a bit deeper and find something funny that's been swept under the cinematic rug. If you want to try something a bit more obscure, keep watching to discover some hysterical comedies that flew completely under the radar. After Hours in 1985, legendary director Martin Scorsese created one of the weirdest comedies to ever come from a mainstream filmmaker, an oddball movie called After Hours. Griffin Dunn plays a guy named Paul Hackett who just wants to get a ride home after a date in New York City. But instead, he finds himself lost in a twisted Wizard of Oz universe version of the Big Apple, where everyone else seems to have gone completely bonkers. It all plays out like an eerily funny fever dream or some long-lost Lewis Carroll novel where there are no rules and you should avoid everyone you meet because they're all stark raving mad. With Nail and I Comedy isn't always just about the laughs. For proof, look no further than 1987's With Nail and I, a dark British comedy that reeks of weed, wine, and desperation. Paul McGann and Richard E. Grant play two struggling actors who take a vacation in the country to get their heads straight. Filled with quotable lines and hilarious hijinks, With Nail and I is also a deeply sad film about struggling with addiction and finding yourself trapped in life with nowhere to go but down. Don't worry though, it's still funny, with Time Out London ranking it at number 7 on its countdown of the 100 best comedies ever made. The Brothers Bloom Ryan Johnson is best known for films like Brick, Looper, and Star Wars The Last Jedi, but he's also responsible for the criminally underrated comedy The Brothers Bloom a delightful romp full of confident schemes, double crosses, and a lot of nitroglycerin. Narrated by the great Ricky Jay, The Brothers Bloom might be a bit too quirky for some, but if you don't mind the fantastical style, stars Mark Ruffalo, Adrian Brody, and Rachel Weisz deliver performances that are incredibly fun to watch. Plus, like any good con movie, it does a great job of constantly making you wonder if you're in on the game or if you're actually being played. MacGruber Inspired by the Saturday Night Live sketch, MacGruber finds Will Forte sporting a mullet, saving America, and finding weird new ways to use celery sticks. The film was a massive flop when it came out in 2010 and was eviscerated by critics, but in the years since, this send-up of 1980s action flicks has found a cult following. Even Christopher Nolan is a fan, telling Business Insider there are scenes that had him howling uncontrollably. Raunchy, bloody, and stupid in equal measures, this one is simply classic MacGruber. Who's first? Tucker and Dale vs. Evil If the horror genre has taught us anything, it's that you can't trust a hillbilly. It seems these backwood bumpkins are always looking for preppy kids to chop into tiny pieces, right? Well, 2010's Tucker and Dale vs. Evil flips this idea on its head, turning the mountain men into lovable lugs just trying to help a group of vacationing college kids who are so terrified by horror movie stereotypes about rednecks that they keep accidentally killing themselves. Not only is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil hilarious, it actually has an important message. Good job, guys. Everybody Wants Some Directed by Richard Linklater, 2016's Everybody Wants Some has been hailed as the spiritual sequel to Linklater's classic Dazed and Confused. Set in 1980, the film follows a group of college baseball players in the days before class starts. There's not really much of a plot, as the film focuses instead on the relationships between these jocks, competitive dudes who spend their days guzzling beer, battling each other, and bonding over ball games. It's extremely funny, while also examining the mechanics of American masculinity. What am I thinking about? Baseball. Having a tail. Cereal. Hunt for the Wilder People before signing on to direct Thor Ragnarok, New Zealand native Taika Waititi gave us brilliant gems like What We Do in the Shadows, but the man really topped himself with 2016's Hunt for the Wilder People, a story of two misfits on the run from ninjas, direwolves, and an overzealous child welfare agent who thinks she's the star of an American cop show. Waititi's visuals are breathtaking, and the film expertly jumps back and forth between gut-busting comedy and tear-jerking sadness. In short, this is one majestical movie. Once rejected, now accepted by me and Hector, a trifecta. The Nice Guys Written and directed by Shane Black, who redefined the buddy cop film with Lethal Weapon, 2016's The Nice Guys is one of the best entries in the genre in recent memory, with stars Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe bouncing off each other like bloody, boozy versions of Laurel and Hardy. Whether they're getting into gunfights, interrogating witnesses, or discussing near-death experiences involving Richard Nixon, Gosling and Crowe make the perfect comedy team. And really, we totally wouldn't mind seeing these actors reunite somewhere down the line. That would actually be pretty nice, guys. <laughs> Popstar, never stop, never stopping. 
Straight from the incredible minds of the Lonely Island, 2016's pop star, Never Stop Never Stopping, attempts to do for pop music what This Is Spinal Tap did for heavy metal. And it succeeds, delivering a spot-on, hilarious mockumentary featuring Andy Samberg as a former boy band star who finds success as a solo act, only to learn being a loner isn't all it's cracked up to be. Jam-packed with some fantastically funny tunes, it also features cameos from musicians like Usher, Mariah Carey, and an amazing Justin Timberlake. My name is Mr. Fish. Yeah. These guys' thoughts have granted my wish. Oh, yeah. All I want to know who's in that fish costume. That was amazing. The fish was me. By the time the credits roll, we guarantee you'll want to jump out of your seat and start doing the donkey roll. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.